Hello! Right, just give me a moment. I am slightly behind. Just a bit disorganised today. Um, got two things to add now. So, client. What do you mean it's... I hate my justice. Try again. It's the can that sometimes decides it's not going to start up because it's on the power saving mode. Right, there we go. It's one done, and then so the second thing is My cam's gone straight off again. <laughs> Not a good start. Yeah, why are you asking me about debugging now? Silly machine. Alright, there we go. Right, apologies for that. So, I'm almost done. I just need to grab uh, the discs for Blade Runner and uh, also connect the CD-ROM. But whilst, before we do that, whilst I remember, thank you to Smirkwood for the follow. Also, your mouse, which is over here. That would be useful. It is a mouse driven game after all. That's that. And then the last thing is where's the USB? This is it.
yeah, apologies I'm not over it ready. It's just a bit of a long day today. Also, I don't usually stream on a Thursday, so. Right. Let's go as in here. And the USB thing goes here. So I've got a small USB drive for the uh, Windows 98 box. Right, I think we're ready now. So, screen to ESUP. This screen here. And I've got to turn the VGA switch because it doesn't auto turn. Right. to the CD, that's a good thing. Going straight to Windows, unlike last time if you remember. <laughs> oh, and you won't be hearing that. Not now though. Alright, first things first, get this installed. What have I got going there currently? I think I've got Age of Empires in there currently. No auto room. Seems a bit odd. I'm hoping this is going to go smoothly, but... I did try this last time and it could work. Oh, 
Okay, that doesn't look good. Something that's on here. Shit. As ever, when you come to my streams, something always goes wrong. Let me just check CD2 and see if that's kind of working. Because there's something on here that shouldn't be on here. It's like something's... Unless that's disc rock, which is possible. Oh, Blade Runner 2 is okay. I'll show you what I mean. Um, on here, I don't think you can see it. Top right there. Don't think you're gonna see it. There's some basically there's a mark there, but it's it's like it's inside the disc itself. Hmm. Well, Blade Runner 2 works okay. I think it's just CD1 looks a bit knackered. That's fine. I can fix that. That's not an issue. Alright, give me a moment. Uh...
Sorry about this, folks. Just one of those things. Um... Right, well, whilst we're waiting for that, what I can do is, just so that the stream isn't too boring, is uh, I can do, um, something that I knew would be useful. Play a bit of King of the Road whilst we're waiting for it to download. Don't think I need a CD for this. So if you think of about Euro Truck Simulator, it's similar to that, but um, I think I'm on the wrong. But it's more Arcadia thing. Did I carry on with something? Oh, <laughs> do you need a CD? <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, God. Do you remember when you didn't have to need a CD for everything? GP. Right, fine. I don't really have anything else quick, unfortunately. Excuse me, I'm trying to remember where I put the um, CD for King of the Road. I think it's in here. There we go. So as long as um, Blade Runner downloads quickly enough, we can get on with it. In the meantime, King of the Road.
I guess it's what checks by mistake. Wow, that's really low. Try that. I don't remember what it's supposed to be doing. I remember parking up after a couple of times, I kind of messed up the emissions. I won't what last to me yet. what I'll do is so I'm not confusing anyone. I won't. Just make a note. Uh, no, it's not test drive, it's King of the Road. We're supposed to be doing um, Blade Runner, but unfortunately the CD, the first CD isn't working. Um, so I'm trying to get that fixed at the moment. That's going to take a bit of time, because uh, I need to grab something. Um, and that's going to take its time at the moment. So whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm going to do a bit of King of the Road, because it's quick. And then I'm going to get on to, hopefully at least some of, um, get on to at least something of uh, Blade Runner tonight. If not, it might have to wait till next week, so I do apologise for that, but I'm trying my best to get it sorted. I didn't realise that the CD had kind of, um, it looks like it's got a hole in it or something. Um, so it attempts and it thinks it's there, but then it kind of breaks, so...
CV2 works okay, so I'm assuming the other ones will do as well. But uh, if that goes wrong, I'll make sure that I've got backups. You just remember last time I kind of tried playing with it, um, it was fine. So, not quite understanding why it's gone wrong. Realised that I need to get fuel. get fuel. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh dear. Uh Whoops, let's call 911 again. Yeah, so if those of you are wondering what this is, this is King of the Road, and it's basically like if you've play, ever played Euro Truck Simulator, um, this is more like an arcade version of it. But this came out years ago. I think it was. Early 2000, possibly, maybe, yeah, maybe around early 2000s. Am I going back up the? No, it's just a twisty road. Still low on fuel. South yeah. Go 
I move that one? No. I must have done because I can see something flashing. There's at one point you can do uh, sort of like races with the other trucks. Um, as a kind of way to get the load there in time. I can't remember if you've got to go to the circuit or not. Well, the circuit's a different thing entirely. Oh, stop a number to get serviced. And it is the case, so you can see at the top left it says you are third or fourth. Um, unfortunately, I've got to refuel at the moment. See how it's going. Okay. So on the map on the left hand side you can see silhouettes of the other trucks and that's by competition. So if I remember rightly you've basically got to pull up to um, the other areas to load what you need to load and then try and get down there as quick as you can. I think there's some sort of bonus to it but I've never, I've been close to getting first but I never quite got there. If you're wondering if it's jittery on my machine, it's not just a stream, it is, it is mine as well. Oops. Took a bit of a battery. And the tree came over there. You do get a weather effects as well, like rain, and, and I think it does do day and night cycles. It's better remember to put on the headlights there.
and uh, as you can see at the top it says the, like, the, there's a road that's clear so there are some times where the, there's roads that just don't um, that are closed and not available but I can't remember how that works hopefully this means that I might be catching up No, still a bit of a distance, unfortunately. I'm noticing on your end that this is looking a bit ropey. Give me a moment. I keep forgetting about this. As some games are fine with it, some games are a bit too dark. There we go. What I'll do is I will do this for now. Give it something a bit bigger to look at. Switch back once I get Blade Runner sorted. something grab that over here Let's put that sort of there ish
They're gonna try and throw out some uh, some tire poppers. I can't remember if this does. I'm pretty sure it does. They're gonna leave me alone, possibly. Very low on uh, gas. Now coasting. <laughs> There's a cop over there. Probably want me to stop. Alicia, come on. Out of gas. Yeah. Right, so I'll do 911. There we go. I should have stopped off for petrol, but I was hoping to be able to get past my rivals, but uh, that'll be a no. So what I'll do is. I will just come off the road. Yep, perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, I'm knackered. <next. laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Irreparable. Oh dear. See how we're doing. Okay. I think this is just restarted from where I was before, or when I loaded actually, which is fine. So what I'm going to do first, I have to put the menu up, is I'm going to go to the P, the nearest P I can, and get that, uh, get me fueled up, because that's going to be the first job. I ran into the cop car. Never a good thing.
Oh, <laughs> long tour away. I can't remember if you get fines for hitting into somebody, but I don't know if you've got to have the police there to do it. Because I know with um, Euro Truck Simulator, it doesn't matter where you are. If you hit somebody else, it's an immediate, it's an immediate um, fine. Please, heart's still out, happy. And again, I didn't ram his vehicle. <laughs> I tried to break on it. Just ram him now just to piss him off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh dear. I'll get the place off it back, hopefully. Let's see. So this round here was a truck. That's the truck that rammed into. So where's the... Stop the vehicle at once. Again. I'm not doing good at avoiding the cops, am I? Now I'm coasting on fumes again, as I couldn't find a damn uh, there. See if you park on the grass. Yep, you will. It's another four grand, probably.
Oh wait, wasn't it around the corner? Is that what I was forgetting? It's not quite around here, is it? That was the uh, security camera, not the security camera, that was the uh, speeding camera just to the right of me. That's info. Where's the... So I thought the peace sign was for uh, petrol as well. But maybe it's... Ah, oh, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, so what I can do is I can come over here. Use the mouse to click the phone. Hear that? Right, I'm hoping everything should be ready for 30 minutes. Um, we'll have to see though. Coffee. The destination is Westwoods, not as far as Southgate from last time. Let's see if I can get as much as I can in. Let me just go. I don't to hit a cop car this time. In case you didn't see, I got 1% cargo damage. So it does take that into account. Which is probably why it's got the um, rock at the top right, but I think that might be a separate thing.
Oh, they are for real. Yeah, it's not bad for the year it came out. Although I, I don't think I've ever, since I played this again, managed to get past the uh, the trucks in front. I think I've managed to get second place. But then I think I've always managed to get in just second place, I think. Maybe if I upgrade the um, truck, I'll probably get a bit of a faster one, because I don't think I've upgraded it yet. Yeah, apologies everybody. Like I said, uh, I think hopefully in the next 15 minutes, if everything goes right, we should have to start, hopefully. I'm just trying to get another CV1, basically. Um, and then I can quickly burn it and then we can carry on. This is just a quick go to a game I can do uh, as an arcade type thing. I mean, I'd love to fix the jankiness slight because what happens is you can see it um, slightly stop and then move forward and it does it on mine. I don't know whether it's because I've got the graphics set too high, but considering it's a first gen um, ATI card, it should be okay. I've got more than enough RAM. And I think it classes itself as kind of P3. So that shouldn't be an issue. You are fourth or fifth, that's good. So the other one's behind me. Looks like the need for speed racing engine. I'm not sure. It's been done by a company called Joe Wood. Uh, they also did Rally Trophy, which for the time was actually very good. Um, so whether they've used that, I don't know. just arrived I shouldn't be too far behind so I'm not at least I'm not last that's not the point shit stop the vehicle at once Fuck. no 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 Left in three hundred. No, that's the wrong place. Oh, 
another fine again. Maybe it's because it's in a small window, but the texture on the buildings look really nice for the era. Not giving way when changing lane. Piss off. <laughs> it's my response to that. And there's number five going past me. What was the reverse key? What was the reverse key? So I can look left and right as well. Obviously stuck now. Tell you what. Nine one one it. Oh come on! I just nine one one. What are you gonna take me for now? Driving through a lead fuck off. There was no way I did that. I'd hardly moved. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so I've got to there in time ish. Made two grand, I think I lost half it in the uh in the fines I got given. And I'm down on fuel as well. Let's see we're up to a halfway cool. Textures are terrible, but for distance, yeah, the the cops are really, uh, be really pain in this one. Right, so I need to find. You. I don't know if you can hear that properly, but the um, wind's picking up. You don't see any tornadoes, unfortunately, even though you hear the wind howling. But you do see, as you can see there, uh, lightning go through. Which is nice, to be fair. Stop the vehicle at once. Oh, what now? Rendered it like no, it didn't like I <laughs> pretty much. What are we on? 
right over half on a download call. I'm just basically, like I said, picking CD-ROM from archive.org. It's just taken a while for it to pick up. No. Fine. I think you're in a helicopter there. Let's do some random speed. There you go. Let's see how much of a fine you give me now. Was he? Oh, was he actually shooting at me? Jesus, I thought that was the... Uh, yes, he is. <laughs> I could just see the things popping off at the bottom. Oh, God. I really have pissed him off. It's awesome, I love this game. <laughs> I'm sure you can find a copy of it. I don't think it's on GOG or anything like that, unfortunately. Cigarettes, cotton fabric. Oh yeah, let's go for cotton fa fabric. Cool. Start now. Where am I going? Oh shit, I forgot where I'm going. St. Helena. Okay. Oh, there's another one. You know, I'm kind of getting confused with um, Grand Theft Auto when they kind of put the tire tracks out, so maybe it isn't this game that does it. Um, but yeah, you can see them get annoyed, so they just shoot at you. on the wrong side of the road. Let's see what people are saying in chat. Uh, in the United States, Hard Truck 2 sold 210,000 copies and earned 2.1 million by August 2006 after it was released in June 2000. Uh, it was the country's 100th best-selling computer game during the period. Quite cheap, but to be honest, I'm not surprised either. I'd known, had I known about the game, I might have got it myself. <laughs> but that's what this is, Hard Drop 2. Is that the ultimate game for this? Uh, sorry, is that the ultimate name for this? Because uh... Or is it just another one you found? As I know in America, um, Euro Truck Simulator is actually American Truck Simulator. Ooh, one of five. Let's see if I can keep this going. But they're right behind me there. Cop copped. 
Warte. Doing well for fuel. About a quarter of the way there, I think. Or well, just under half, at least, anyway. $50 for a speed limit, don't care. I think I've got enough money, so I should be fine. Uh, no, sorry, not right behind me. They're at a bit of a distance now. That's good. Maybe picking cigarettes was a good idea. He says almost fucking it up. I think it's what usually happens sometimes when I'm in first. Um, I'll get too cocky and I'll slam in somewhere. I'll get myself stuck and then I get passed by everybody and I could never get my lead back up again. Um, but I'm nearly at St. Helena's, Helena's so when I do get there I will check chat. So I know you've been there. I know there's been a few more messages. There's a cop. Is he going to chase me? No. Just drive up until it says done. Done. First time I've done that. <laughs> right, where am I up to? Hard Truck 2, King of the Roads, the European version of Hard Truck 2. Right, okay. Uh, it's like driving down the M1 at 3am. Trucks everywhere, beautiful sight. Just knowing that I'm not the only idiot up at the 3am since. Sure, that was the same. Um, oops. Sure, it was the same mountains you hit last time? Probably. I have been going up and down this side for quite a bit. There we go, that's more like it. a UK cop truck. Uh, there we go, that's more like a UK cop truck passing on the wrong side of the road at 80 miles an hour. If you're going to the edge, cop does nothing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, we've got a choice of North, um, North Harbour for soft toys, and North Harbour is topping around. Um... What am I doing on my download? 476. Okay, soup time, be right back, no problem. I am over halfway in the download. Um, okay. So we've got North Harbour. Toothpaste, which I've already tried to do. 
He goes back down to Westwood again. And there is a reverse key, I just can't remember what the what the reverse key is. Wheat plow at Wood uh, at Foot Hill. Um I've not been to Foot Hill before. Yeah, go on then. Can you smuggle drugs and such? I don't know. To be honest, I think it's just this, but I could be wrong. Uh, which way am I going? Bit of a tight one. I'll have to slam the brakes a bit here. Uh, yeah, I've not turned them on actually. I don't remember. Is it this one? I don't remember which one's here. <laughs> I don't know what the key is. So I'm sure you've got to turn it on manually. But hey, unlike your truck simulator, nobody's finding me for it. Uh, which way am I supposed to be going? Assuming this way is correct. The, the good thing about Euro Truck Simulator is the GPS thing is actually pretty uh, useful. But I suppose the difference is as long as you keep playing uh, this game, you kind of re uh, recognize the route. Bad 
My rival's just hipping me as well. Oh no, still, it's not one of my rivals. That's good. I just thought it might be. It's definitely behind me there. It looks like somebody's already at Fort Hill. Unless somebody's come out. Because it says it's gone from 2 of 4 to 2 of 3. I think there's trucks constantly going up and down. And that's my rival going past. Um, picking up jobs. And I think that's how this works. See this guy's leaving me behind now. I think I just need to upgrade the truck. But I'm not quite sure how much money I've got. I think you just find the trucks lying around different cities. Ooh, two potential hazards there. I'm also running out of gas. Considering I'm last, I might as well pick up some gas if I can find some. Hammer out. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's repair. Shit. Can I coast enough to get some gas? The P, not a what's it sign. I don't think you get tired in this game. I think you can. Oh, the P's are where the um, parking for the other uh, trucks for sale. It's Mercury, I don't want to go to Mercury. Stop the 
And now I'm going towards North Harbour. Great. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you just saw that. That was the, um... That was the, um... The tail puncher ones. Little please have a give up. No. <laughs> so I do, I do remember that. I was correct. That, um, the, you do get punctured with the tyres when they get really pissed off with you. I don't even know what I did wrong there. What was the uh, what was the issue that I did? Oh. They've punctured my tyres so I can't really go much places. I think that's the issue. Uh, yeah. Look how slow this is. <laughs> oh dear. I can't even turn around properly. Nine one one again, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Right, where are we going? Southgate or oh, harbour. I think towards Southgate would be an idea. Hi there, I need help from the police that just had running water. <laughs> uh, Mercury or Southgate? I think it's Southgate I need to go towards. And we're on a red, but I do not care. Typically, I managed to get around that. Wait, hang on, I thought. I thought Southgate to us to right next to me. Not this time. With your bloody tire punches. Luckily I just noticed that. You might be shot. So, I don't know if you remember earlier, um, it did look like they were shooting at me. Um, because there was some sort of explosions or something on the side. And I was like, hey, they actually are shooting. I think that was from the uh, helicopter. So, I think they can do, yeah. We'll have to see if it happens again before we start Blade Runner. Because, oh, it's downloaded. Just what I'll do is let me just pause it here a sec. Let's say, uh, I 
Hopefully this works. Right, that's burning now. I need to stop the fuel. Oh no, go out of fuel. <laughs> oh, 5 minutes to get there What else? 
left again. That thing in front of me looks for like a very space age truck. I wonder if he could buy it though. Probably. Oh, it's a bit of a crunch. Like something's done. Um, first of all, let's get this cargo done and then we can save up. Done. Right. I'm just going to call it stream just so that in case I need to I can come back to that right okay um do I have right so we could probably get on with what we're supposed to do today I've already saved your fingers that this is going to work way we wanted okay get back to this I hide this Right, now we can get on with what I'm supposed to do. Probably going to get the MCA for that music. Alright, so let me know if the music sounds um, good in your ears, and then we can carry on. I'll get it installed. All for old school stuff. Try, but I don't want to be on. No, this is not the same Blade Runner on Amiga. This was the its own thing on Windows. Uh, no, I don't want that. Browse. On the e. 
and I want I'm going to go for medium installation I didn't realise there was a Blade Runner, Blade Runner on the Amiga, to be honest. Let's slot that in. This is kind of a road distance to a bit. Oh, and whilst this is installing, in case it didn't show it, this here, the menu wars, just put this up as a quick kind of kind of stream. There you go, the menu wars. So at some point, I do want to play that. That that's Deep Space Nine. Um, CD based, runs on. Windows 95 sort of run on this system. Oh, that one. Uh, 150 meg hard drive space. Full install, 600 meg apparently. So that's a good one at some point. Uh, honestly, it might be hallucinating Blade Runner on the Miggy. Uh, love the show. Game. So, yeah. It just means I've got another Star Trek game. So I've now got three Deep Space Nine games and at least one uh, TNG um, so I've got four Star Trek games in total we want Blade Runner C2 which we know works Tell me this is gonna fuck up as well. CD one. Be a bit beneath the still sky, yeah. It, that those two could be a bit similar to be fair. Funny. Oh, come on, don't do this.
There we go. There we go. I think it was I pressed yes on the uh, on the um, eject thing. It went a bit funny. Um. Yeah, I've just got to be careful because it's a, it's a top loading CD. So it, it, I just need to remember to cancel that eject thing. Insert Blade Runner 1. We want to run Blade Runner, of course we do. We've been waiting for the past two hours. <laughs> well, I certainly have anyway. Excuse the flashing. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot revolution into the Nexus phase, uh, being virtually identical to a human known as a replicant. Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility, at least equal in intelligence to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as a slave labour and a hazardous exploration and colonisation of other planets. After a bloody mutiny on Nexus 6 combat team, uh, in an off-world colony, replicants were declared legal on Earth under the penalty of death. Special police squads, Blade Runner units, had orders to shoot and kill upon de detection any p trespassing replicant. This was not called execution, it was called retirement. It's basically the same blurb from the film, if I'm, I think if I remember rightly. Los Angeles, November 2019. sorted all the meal bins so if it's all right it's my turn to fix dinner D uh, haven't you forgotten something little one just one little thing mr runcer please it's been a very long day i don't want to now lucy i thought we'd settled this last week don't let's forget to pay your salary we're closed Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That. And what else might be interest you in today? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But 
what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen! Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. Is it me or does this sound a bit too low? Some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old time guys who took right. their nice the table. Animal sales I'll try and get restarted. Business since most real animals have died out. Because I can hear, just about hear it on my end, so you guys have probably just not been able to hear batteries. it properly. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Okay, let me just have a quick look. Sound effects are. I just need to turn it off on Windows side. But it might be a bit too loud, but I bet, I bet it's it's better than nothing. I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. 
Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. The volume's a bit better now, I think. I want to push it up a bit further, I can do. I'll just wait until the cutscene's done and then I'll push it up again and go straight into the game. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of ptomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guza was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him. But you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse. They never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Save it here so I can just jump straight into it. And I just want to make sure that uh, it's still a little low for me.
you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cub they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. I wonder whether there's subtitles on this. I can't remember the race going to be. No, I don't think so. It's fine. Let's go in. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Fair enough. Let's see if I can find anything. In fact, let me just see if I can exhaust the conversation with him. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. My precious one. She was my baby. See if I can find anything to pick up. Anything that, uh, oh, what's Big that? caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Okay. Something. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. I'm ruined, totally ruined. Stick around, I may not be finished with you. Yes, so that's everything. So Lucy is the girl that we saw in the cutscene, um, and he believes uh, Lucy's part of the, what's happened to him. Um, my precious one, she was my baby. I don't think there's anything much else. All my animals. Well, 
isn't that cute? A candy bar. Yuck. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Hmm. A toy dog. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Qu About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. Okay, we're just reviewing the other bits. Let's see if there's anything else we can pick up. Well, isn't that cute? So right click holds the gun, but we don't need it at the moment. Most of this is just left clicking. I think that's it really. My animals. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I think that's it, maybe. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft. The small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Anything to say? Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. And uh, as you can see, double clicking will make him run to the area. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Okay, I've already done that. I think that's it. Okay, so we are there. We've got Chinatown, which is where the um, the chopstick we found is. Police station, and that's your apartment, right? Okay, so we go here first. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. A bit disappointed that I'm not wearing my, um, I've got a Blade Runner t-shirt, I've got two of them, so I've got one which is the, um, the origami, and the other one which I believe is this, is the White Dragon 
noodles thing, and it basically across the top there. Um, I need to ask you, McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Oh, wait a minute. I'll ask him first. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. Got to mix more out back. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopped to come from Yoshi's restaurant supplier. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef. Makes all kinds of new suit. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. See you later, Howie. Right, and then we're gonna have to go back to talk to the cook. Yeah, I couldn't see again. Yeah. Is there anything here? Don't look like it. Howie says you're a master chef. Do not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Okay, that's a bit pointless. <laughs> Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Okay, fair enough. See you later, Howie. Let's speak to this guy. And that's it. Hmm. That's the police station. Oh, I know where to go. So we need to go to the Roof, evidence place. Laboratory. Mainframe and shooting range. Laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runcitus, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runcitus was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Well, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runcitus is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. 
Anything else? Zip, man. Try me later. Right, so, meet Cleaver. There's only one person that, uh, I think he said red Ender Rifle, yeah. Let me just double check here. Ender Rifle. Yep. Uh, it's definitely part of the uh, off-world uh, wiki. I will put it in chat so you can see. I'm just going to quickly nip to the loo uh, but before I go. Uh, so we found out that um, one person is using meat cleaver. And the only other person we've spoken to that's kind of going to have one is the cook. So I'll have to speak to him again. Um, there's the end of rifle. So someone's got military hardware. And... Oh, and uh, <laughs> runs it to animals isn't selling live. Doc. I wonder if that was notable as in this game as the rough world exterminators. Don't know about that one. Right, back in a sec. Yeah, that was an R teacher thing. You uh, just don't hear the name Ender very often. Oh, that was Ridge. Yeah, okay. Right, so I think we need to go back to the cook. Mainframe laboratory. Ground floor. Lockup. Mainframe and shooting range. Roof. <laughs>
See you later, Howie. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe you need to find... Something... No? I was hoping that was going to be a no. Have to remember that one. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Good doggy. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. All right, so this is basically yeah, from the film where it tells the uh, the system to go and look at certain areas. We don't have any um, photographs yet, so it's not going to be useful. Do you know if I can just rest now or... Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Back to the monster to see if I can question him about the uh, animals, possibly. Nobody's here then.
Why don't you just kill him? Wondering if there's something I've missed. I just want to check, am I still... Yes, I am. Okay, it's fine. You don't see anything like this. Oh! Close. Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. Did I miss picking that up? Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. Shit. Mr. in Chinatown. Sorry, excuse me. See you later, Howie. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. What am I missing? Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife. Like the perp was really pissed off at something. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. 
Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. This being Chingyen? Oh, money, of course. Thirty counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. This must be Zubin. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Uh, let me just check something. Having a quick look at the manual. There's three buttons, so I'm going to look at the key here again, which is the uh knowledge integration assistant so it says um first three buttons bring up the crime scene which is this one uh suspect to clue panels so that's suspect that's clue panels which you described below uh, So these act as forward and back buttons.
crime scene panel, which is this one. Displays a crime scene along with every known suspect and clue pertaining to it. Cycle through the crime scenes McCoy investigating. Uh, is investigating by using the arrow buttons to the right the crime scene's name. Cycle through the related suspect by using the buttons underneath suspect photo area. Check, uh, click on a su suspect photo to jump to his or her suspect panel. Related clues are related to the right uh, suspect panel, which is this one. Displays all available information about this particular subject. The top is the subject name. Below is the name that your best available photo of the suspect. List of crime uh, scenes that you're implicated in and a list of related clues. Click on the name of crime scene to jump to its crime scene panel. And what's it? Click on. Okay, so this goes back to the crime scene, I think. Oh, uh, that one. Yeah. Um, each clue about suspect is arranged by KI into four categories uh, whereabouts, semi replicant, and non replicant. The clue does not fall into any of these categories, it's placed into the other category. A whereabouts clue uh, offers some indication of where the suspect has been or is likely to be. An MO or MOPRAS modus operandi clue offers an indication of how the suspect operates and what they might be likely to do in the future. A replicant clue is an indication that a suspect may be a replicant. Conservatively, a non replicant clue is an indication that a subject in question is not a replicant. So, what are we saying here? So, we can turn these off. Whereabouts? No. MO. Those two. Replicant. We have a non replicant. And other. So we're not sure. It's got more than likely going to be a replicant than anything else. Okay. Checkbox for each clue category. Yeah, we know that. Clue panel, which is this one. It's got this one, sorry. As a master list of all the clues you have acquired, McCoy enters all sorts of information into the KIA. Much of it is not directly tied to any crime scenes or suspect. Clue panel is the only place where you will find these clues. On the left is a list of filters uh, which may be applied to the clue list. As you pass the mouse over a clue in the list, the information about it will appear in a small window at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the reference there source runs occur type animal murder type object. Oh, crime animal murder type object. That showing you that there. Uh, new clues have a flashing arrow next to them. There are two more types of information visible in KIA. The first is McCoy's money, measured in Chin Yen, which is this one here. So it's displayed in a small window on the right. McCoy gets money from retiring room replicants. He will occasionally find ways to spend it too. Second piece of information is, uh, is McCoy's ammunition. There's a bullet icon at the bottom of the screen. This one, I'm assuming. Holding the mouse over it will bring a message indicating how many bullets he's got left. As McCoy acquires deadlier kinds of ammunition, the new bullet icons will join the original one. Click on a bullet icon to load that type of ammunition into McCoy's gun. Then we've got the options at the top left. And then you've got where have we gone? In the options. So these here are conversation choices. One of the first four buttons is chosen, McCoy placed into an automatic conversation mode. You will automatically choose from say based on the agenda you've chosen for him. The agendas are polite, normal, surly and erratic random choices. The fifth button, user choice, causes the menu to be displayed whenever there is a conversational choice, allowing you to choose for yourself what McCoy will say.
Oh, okay, that's interesting. So at the moment we've got it on as normal. So he's going to automatically, but we can specify what he's going to say. Maybe we should do that. We did a random one. Is that right? One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Use a choice. Save and load game. Spinners, Epsa, Mainframe and Lab. Oh, we need to go back to and upload it to the mainframe. So it says all Blade Runners use the place mainframe computer, which is I think floor two on the place section. Um you should periodically upload new information stored in your KIA to the mainframe. Click on the monitor at the right side of the screen to upload. This will also download clues put into the mainframe by other Blade Runners modified uh, K sorry by other Blade Runners. Modified KIA devices may have clues selected with a right mouse button which do not upload to the mainframe. Lab we've already been to. Combat course I can show later. McCoy's apartment with the et Esper. The Voight Count Machine. Sometimes you'll be given a chance to administer the Voight Count test with subject. This will usually happen automatically. While administering the test, uh, monitor the two needles on the left. The further the top needle moves to the right, the more likely that the su subject's response is human. The further the bottom needle moves to the right, the more likely it is that the subject is replicant. The sensor suite of a needle is the reaction gauge, which measures the intensity of the subject's responses. When the test begins, press the red button to calibrate the machine. It's possible to manually adjust the machine by moving a small calibration sli slider above the reaction gauge, but this is a violation of the department's procedure and is not recommended. If you're confident that the machine is calibrated correctly, press any of the three buttons on the right to be uh, begin a test. Using the VK test to detect replicants is not an easy task. You must ask a good combination of low, medium and high intensity questions in order for the test to be effective. Select each type of question by clicking on the one of three buttons on the right. Too many high intensity questions may annoy the subject. Whilst too many low intensity questions will not produce their accurate results. If the machine determines that the subject is definitely a replicant or definitely human, the test will end automatically and the information will be added to, K to your KIA. Okay. Right, let's go back to the police area and upload everything. Maybe we can find something new. Frame and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders' meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score.
So I was Steels at the top, here's the woman who spoke to you at the beginning when you went to the PlayStation. Gaff, I think is... Oh, a Gaff is in the film, um, the guy who's with, in the hat that tells Deckard... Deckard? Yeah. Um, at parts of his job, and he's quite rude to him, that's Gaff. Um, and then you got Deckard there at 10. And the last person to do this was Brian. Okay. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Let's look at the Esper room. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Okay. Clue database transfer complete. There we go. Okay, so we've got some new stuff here. There's no. I'm absolutely certain Lucy. Describe the. This is Crystal Steel Badge Number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again ask that my attorney. Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh, no. Recording off. Okay. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. Sim slim blonde man with a ponytail. Okay. Sounds like she roughed him up a bit. <laughs> this is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. Mm. Nothing else apart from steel stuff. That's Esper.
there's anything new on the locations. Probably not. No. Brian, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Okay, nothing useful here. What do you know? Zero that would interest you, Detective. Okay. Worth a shot. Mainframe and shooting range. Lock up. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. Oh, here we go. This is, uh... I got some more questions for you. Lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir. We're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, Detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped. A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, Detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? Right, my dude. I need to finish off some code before I head to bed. I'll catch you next stream. Have fun. No problem. I will be back uh, next. I'll be back on Monday. So remember, I'm not going to be in on Friday, which is what I'm doing today. Um... We'll be on Sunday or Monday, so the next stream is going to be... Oh no, it's not going to be Tuesday. It's going to be Friday, because I'm going to be away from my indie game dev on Tuesday. So yeah, 
it won't be till next week unfortunately uh, but we'll be doing another Blade Runner so it's fine and we've got it uh, we've got it to install now so there's going to be no problem touch wood but uh, thanks for popping by let's see what he says what do you know zero that would interest you detective Now I've got a choice of doing a fight count test on him. I could try it. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective, she already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh, look, I gotta check out the equipment and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care. Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him, so sit down. Right, so, remember rightly, what did the manual say? Red button to collaborate. Um, top needle to the right, it's going to be human. Uh, the bottom needle moves to the right, it's going to be replicant. Right, okay. Top human, bottom replicant. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Okay, so these buttons here, start with the low one. It's the first day of school and the teacher calls on you. I'd hope I knew the correct answer. Let's go for another low one. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. I'd call animal services, of course. I wouldn't try to move it myself, not without proper equipment. Okay. Medium? You see a documentary about 20th century tuna boats. At the end, you feel like taking up fishing. Ridiculous. Seems to be human. Your child comes home with a black eye. I call the school. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. I love life too much to commit suicide. You wouldn't know about that, would you? High intensity? Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. Appropriate. For a killer. Okay. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. And let me guess, pictures of dead animals inside. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste each more gruesome than the last. These questions are becoming predictable, detective. Okay, seems to be human. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. I try to do better next time. Oh. You're on a farm. You get into the pen to feed the pigs. In their excitement, the animals knock you down into the mud. Using a butcher knife, you slit the throat of the nearest sow. You're covered in blood as you stumble to your feet. My God! You know, I actually feel sorry for you, Detective McCoy. The lack of empathy. Have you ever taken this test? I don't need to. I know what I am. So do I. Ouch. You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. I'd call the police. Test terminated. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Okay, well, I'm assuming that was okay. 
the test. Uh, let's go back to the lab again. Look Violent outside. street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Let's see if there's anything to be uploaded. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Okay, there's nothing new, I don't think. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, shooting range. It's gonna do this next time, but so. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally let you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was gonna requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guzzi could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. <laughs> I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn Fourth of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Okay. Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Let's see if we get some school. Target and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. See anything unless it needs to go to the next area. Oh is that hostile? If you know. Oh, okay. I missed that. <laughs> right there. Looks like we're running away. That was hostile. Obviously, you can't always tell. Running away. Oh, I shot three times. Say uh, back home. Oh, 
two fails. Look too innocent anyway. I think I've messed this up. The fuck is that coming from? So you and you in the corner. Oh, you're holding the gun. Baby. Supposed to get more than ten.
maybe. Boom. Maybe. So you sneaking in? So the, the guns have a definite dark blue to them, but sometimes it's just. Back to me. Baby and go on. Well, this area seems to be a bit better for me. Just, just saw that one. That was correct. Unless he shot me. Completed all sequences. Proceed to exit. See how badly I've done. McCoy, fine. <laughs> I haven't even beaten Deckard. Right, I think in the next uh, stream I'll have to kind of do better. Okay. Let's see what we got on. I really should finish up soon. Um, let, let's see if there's anything new. In terms of areas to go. Nothing on the areas to go. Let's go back to Chinatown. You know what? I forgot to put the tags in. Um, not the first playthrough. Not an RPG. At this point and click. Sorry, I forgot to update the tags. It's not my first playthrough either.
Yeah, apologies for that. I should have updated the uh, refresh page. There we go. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. It's tell nothing. I swear I've missed something. See you later, Howie. You're a pretty smart looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large? You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Dynamite diner. Excuse me, pal. See you later, Howie. Not going to be around still. I've gotten all I can from that. Oh, wait a minute, I've got an idea. No? I thought I could shoot the camera down. security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out.
number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Nothing else in the manual. Okay, let me just have a look at something. I'm stuck now. Oh, okay. So it says, I'm just had a quick look at the walkthrough. It says, throughout the game, kick your TV at Roy's apartment in his bedroom. In this variation, the announcer reports how Tyrell recalled his Nexus Entertainment series. This kite keys off the Gordo's Eruption in this version. Um, and then it Oh, there's a server room. Oh, and this is the police headquarters. Okay. So I need to uh, the TV thing is not obvious. Your floor number, please. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. 
nothing new here. Is there? This is about picking up. I hate it when um, people just give you half the fucking clues. Nothing here for me to examine. Number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Um, okay. That's how we make it, is it? Portrait of the sleep deprived. I bounce backwards and forwards trying to think of what I'm supposed to do next. Right, hang on a minute. This walkthrough is awful. Let me just try and find one that's a bit better. Okay, so it's something to do with the cock. 
which I kind of figure, but I'm trying to get into. Is there something else I need to do? Because every time I talk to me, he just says, I'm going to just talk to you later. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. What happens if I draw my gun? No. Just won't. <laughs> I'm seeing... Pick up the chrome fragment, click on the fire hydrant, the trash can, I've not done the fire hydrant. Hydrant, uh, click on the green cursor on the front door. Notice the footprints. Got the shell casing. Pick up the casing, done that. Got the reference. Looked at the camera. I didn't get a CD. That's where I'm missing. I've locked, soft locked it. Because I can't get a CD off him and that's what I need. Shit. No wonder I'm stuck. Problem is, is he's gone now so I can't get the um... I'll have to start this again. <laughs> Let's kind of load it. Right, let's start this again. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside, abstract art, all over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe. Human and rep. I've gotten all I can from that.
Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for no, all this mayhem? Right. No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously. What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Chinyans worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Hmm, I guess you've got a point at that. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? I'm so glad I... You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? My precious one. She was my baby. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Yeah, I'm glad it kind of saved it, because uh, saved me having to, well, I kind of had to restart anyway, but you know me. I mean. Here you are. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Cool. And that's now gone because it got the CD that I needed. Right, so we do this again. Wow, isn't that cute? Pick up this. A candy bar. Yuck. This. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. This. Hmm. A toy dog. Okay, and out of here. Hopefully that's it now. Go to evidence. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft. The small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. It's a police station. Do my first set of. Oh, go and find out the stuff from the evidence. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. 
What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers klutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Right, so we missed one piece of evidence, which was the fire hydrant. Um, let's go mainframe to and shooting range. Mainframe. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Download our stuff and then we can save and come back to this next week. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Let's see what we've got. Okay, not much at the moment, which is fine. So candy. How we leave. I already judging. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at that black paint you found on the shell casing. Go judging. Scrap. She can't. I'm not there. Big. There we go. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Got loose hand of the suspect. A couple of suspects. Right, okay. So let's go to the options. Oops. I forgot to set that to this. Let's save it. Stream one. Save. Overwrite. Right, okay, so I'm happy with that now. Okay, so we can come back to this next week. I do apologize that um, it took so long to get started, but I didn't expect the Blade Runner disc to not be working. Uh, but at least we got through, I managed to get to it in the end, and um, I kind of entertained you guys before uh, we got through Blade to Blade Runner. Um, I didn't want to spend this four hours on a stream tonight, but it just happens the way it is. Um, so, like I said before, I will be back. I'm away this weekend from tomorrow so I will be back on Monday late on Monday so there's going to be no Amiga Monday um which means there's, there's also going to be no Amiga Tuesday uh, sorry not Amiga Tuesday no Tuesday stream either because I'm uh, I'm at the Indie Game Dev which means the next stream will be next Friday and that's going to be more Blade Runner um I will also try and squeeze in a Saturday stream where I kind of catch up with Tuesday uh, and get that out of the way. So, 
Um, let's see who's available for raiding. In fact, I actually want to see something first. Yeah, it doesn't tell me um, what type of Intel Pentium thing this is. Would have been nice to. Uh, tell you what, let's raid past the plunger who's still playing Final Fantasy Seven, and probably will be doing till the early hours of tomorrow. That's usually what's happening. Right, there we go. Uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Uh, apologies for the, the week, but it's just the way it's fallen. Um, until the next video, I will see... Well, until the next stream, sorry. I will see you then. Bye.